All right, today we're gonna to talk about why I chose the Canon EOS R instead of Nikon. Let's go. All right, welcome. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out my channel, I hope you love it. Leave me feedback, comments. I would love for you to join me on this journey with the Canon EOS R and the rest of my freelance photography. Uh, drone cinematography and more. So I already uh, told you about traveling to CES Consumer Electronics Show back in January, being super impressed by Nikon. They were the bomb. They had the best instruction, the best teachers, people from all over the world who are Nikon ambassadors, rock climbers and sports uh, photographers. And uh, I got to meet Matthew Jordan Smith, uh, who's a, an inspiration as he's a portrait and beauty and fashion photographer. Um, and I've been listening to his podcast and Nikon just hit it out of the park in terms of their content. But when I got back and I had decided to buy a full frame mirrorless camera for my business, um, I wasn't sure, but I thought I was going to buy the Nikon Z7. <laughs> However, you can see I didn't. So let me tell you what happened. The first thing that happened is I knew I needed to talk to somebody I trusted. So I made an appointment with my photography instructor, Nick Carver. You should check out his channel. He's awesome. And um, I just kind of walked him through my history of owning cameras and um, a lot of the cameras I've had in the past, um, going all the way back, <laughs> as far as I can remember, back to high school, have been someone else's. They've been an employer's, they've been somewhat a camera somebody's lent to me. And so I decided to buy a camera for myself. And so Nick said, one of the things you should do is check out the Canon EOS R. You like the Nikon Z7, uh, however, you've never shot Nikon. Did you know the lens attached uh, by turning the opposite way of Canon? Did you know the focus ring turns the opposite way of Canon? I didn't know those things. I'd borrowed a Nikon a long time ago from a friend, but I didn't really realize that. And he said, you know what? Sometimes people find that muscle memory, how your body is used to using something is so much more of a hurdle than you think. And so I said, okay, uh, I'll go try the EOS R in the store. And I went to Best Buy, had a horrible experience. The salesperson didn't know what they were talking about. They couldn't even help me use the functions and I left disappointed. But a buddy of mine, you should check out his channel here. He said, hey, can you drop off a, a camera body, my 7D that needs sensor cleaning at the Canon factory a repair center in Costa Mesa, which is not that far from my house. I said, sure. And while I was there, I checked out the Canon EOS R. When I picked up the 7D when it was ready, I checked it out again. And I spent some time with the educational rep there, learning about it and testing the features. And it was true, what Nick said is the cameras are amazing nowadays. Whether they're used to shoot with, you know, this or the T5i that I'm shooting this on, or whether you have something like this even. And what Nick told me was true. Nick told me, you know what? It doesn't matter what you get, you won't be disappointed. Cameras are so good these days. The specs, they all kind of equal out in the end. What you should do is be looking for the camera that you love, that makes you excited to pick it up and use it. If your camera doesn't do that, that's gonna be a burden or a hassle or a drag to get the gear out and to go shoot. So I thought about what he said and I decided, you know what, that's true and I checked out the Canon EOS R and I bought it for these three reasons. One, I like how it feels in my hand. The grip right here is nice and wide and I can fit my hand around there nice and solidly. And uh, besides that, it has touch and drag autofocus, which is a part of the tactile experience of the camera. I really like being able to tap a spot on the screen, have it select that as the focus point. That's part of the sensation of using the camera. It's solidly built. I like how it feels. It's light enough. And I've used other mirrorless uh, cameras, even the Sony a7R II, which was a full frame. I couldn't get used to the menu system on that. I have the GH5, I've used that. But this one, it felt like home. So how it felt, that's the number one reason. The second thing that made me choose Canon over Nikon is the quality of the lenses. So right here, we have the RF 35 millimeter 1.8 macro lens. And I'm gonna do another video on why I chose that one. But this lens is amazing. It's tack sharp, it's beautiful. The lens that actually sold me on this whole thing was the 50 millimeter. Ooh, I'm gonna save up my money. I'm gonna get that next, I know for sure. 
And so quality of the lenses was superior in my opinion to what Nikon was putting out with the Z6, Z7. And so that was the swaying factor. And the third factor was this, I'm used to Canon. I'm used to Canon. Over 10 years I've been shooting Canon from the T5i I have here. Um, I've used the 5D Mark IV, the 6D, and I love Canon. And so Nick really got me um, to kind of take a step back, think about my experience and what was gonna be right for me. No matter how good Nikon was in inspiring me, it mattered how the camera worked and felt in my hands. So I'm used to the Canon uh, system. I have other Canon lenses, including a great 50 millimeter, one of my favorite all time lenses. And so it just makes sense for me to go back to Canon. And so without further ado, I submit to you the Canon EOS R. I'm gonna be doing more videos as I get to learn it. Um, I already have shot uh, an event, my wife's um, aunt's 85th birthday party. I bought a Godox flash put that on there and I could not be happier how it performed at the birthday party. It was like the camera and I were one. I just was thinking about composition, waiting for the right moment, and I just had a blast shooting. And that was like day three that I had the camera. So I was so, um, so happy then. And I have um, some freelance gigs coming up in the future and I'll keep you posted on how it works. So thanks for joining me and uh, yeah. We'll see you around.